Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't know, and I've never said it publicly before. When I faced so much temptation, this was around 2014, even as a pastor. So much temptation. I called my mom. My two brothers know about it. I called my mom and I told my mom, the temptation is too much. I was the administrator of our hospital, St. Andrew's Hospital in Robert Road, Worry, our church hospital. And we were bidding our vicarage, so the only place for me to live was the same hospital. The hospital was just across the road. It wasn't in the vicarage. And while I was there, I, I, I moved to a flat. It was a three-story building. It's a three-story three building, and I was at the last floor. Temptations, so many temptations. And for the fact that I was fighting corruption and preaching the truth, some people resolved to make sure they sleep with me. And when I saw that the temptations were too much, I told my brother called Israel, I told him, please come and stay with me. I'm staying alone. It's not easy. So many temptations. I need to have you in my house. He's my immediate elder brother. So he moved into my house, into my apartment, but he wasn't serious. He picked a few of his clothes. He refused to move in with me. I told my mom to beg him to move in and live with me because they, I was staying alone in the house. So much temptation. When I saw that the pressure was too much, I moved into the vicarage, into the church premises. I moved from a flat into a one room apartment. Just one room, one room with a toilet. The place I was cooking my food, rats would come and mess up the place. But I never cared. I was so concerned about my salvation because you don't fall twice, you fall once. You don't fall twice. Once. Don't joke with your salvation. I was it a shame, even though I was a pastor. I was it a shame. Confront your sins. Confront them in hell. You can't hide your sins in hell. People will scream. Some of you listening to me now, you are going to scream in hell. You are going to scream. Do you know what it means to be in, in a liquid fire? When fire enters your mouth, enters the whole of your intestine, and you are screaming and asking God for mercy. There's no rest, and there's fire consuming everything. This is not the kind of fire we use in cooking. This is hotter than the fire you use in melting irons. But because you came out of God, because you are a spirit living in a body and with a soul, you will not die. And there are worms tormenting you. Do you know what I lose by preaching this message of salvation? Do you know what I lose? But Christ is my king and Christ is everything to me. I lose a lot of things. I have no friend, not even one pastor friend. I have no friend, not even one friend I don't have. I have no friend. I've been indoors for a number of days now. Since when have I been indoors? I haven't come out of my house and nobody has visited me. This is how my life is. This is how lonely my life is, but I don't care. One with God is majority. I lose a lot of things to tell you the bitter truth. And if you fail to repent, if you fail to strive to enter into this kingdom at all costs, you will remember these words in tears.